after having a good understanding of nodes launch files is the next important step and uh, i want you to be very good at launch files because launch files a very important component of ross they are above nodes and you have to be really really good at it so you can understand big projects and packages of ross and this video is going to go through each and every single thing inside of launch that is utilized in most cases the sub components of launch files are nodes launching including the launch files arguments parameters grouping namespaces and if conditions through groups we are going to be using almost all of these listed items in db sim turtle sim simulation so before starting directly the launch files let me show you that i have created this ross1 wiki repository and all of these lectures containing the code is going to be pushed into this i am producing issues related to the topics that i am interested in i suggest you to produce a new issue so i can produce a video about it and help the community so currently we are working with launch files here i have a launch folder inside of it i will be creating two new files bring up tvsim and another new launch file that is going to be dynamic tvsim dot launch before moving any forward you need to install four great plugins for ross development in microsoft visual studio code these plugins are very simply listed just type ross in extensions in your vs code and the first by microsoft then this one this one and this one these provide these two one provide us the snippets and these snippets help a lot when developing nodes or launch files and xml programming so what is the benefit of these extensions i am going to say launch and it just created this launch file uh, you might be confused how that happened let me do it again for you launch and i press enter it automatically completes the structure i press node node it provides me multiple options what do i want so i want this node compact it automatically completes the syntax i don't need to remember and type all of it and you can see it is highlighted and when it is highlighted this means once you done this you move to other what i'm going to show you is the basic usage of launch file and that is to run nodes not just one single node multiple nodes thousands of nodes you don't need to open terminal for each and single node you just launch one launch file and it runs all of the required nodes so for example a very common package we utilize in the nodes ross run turtle sim turtle sim node we run it it says there is no ross core and we have to run the ross core control shift n to open the new tab in the terminal so this brings up this uh, specific node now if i want to run it through uh, launch file i'm just going to utilize the syntax package name node name so let me copy the node name package name is going to come here turtle sim type is basically the node name that you have name is basically whatever you want to give it my tv sim and let me stop it and what is the main benefit of uh, launch files one of the main benefits you don't need to execute ross core anymore for example a case scenario that uh, we want we want to drive the turtle sim and uh, how we are going to do that ross run turtle sim and turtle sim node this opens up the simulation ross run turtle sim and there is a node inside of turtle sim that is turtle teleop keyboard that is utilized to drive this turtle although if you are just beginner and you don't understand how it is happening i would recommend you to go to the uh, node understanding video of mine you can get a lot of information through ross node list ross topic list and what type of communication is happening on this specific topic of turtle one command velocity how they are communicating okay but the point here is these are two terminals that we need to open and i don't want to do that so what i do is i bring up another node here simple text i bring up compact node 
name is turtle sim execution is turtle teleop keyboard i guess ross run if you ever forget you can utilize your um, terminal to auto complete for you teleop key and let me say driving node as this is going to be our first launch file to be ran so i am going to say ross launch name of my package that is learning package pressing double tap to provide me all of the launch files bring up tbsim is the launch file that i'm going to run press enter it is going to open up the simulation and i'm pressing arrow keys and it is driving the turtle the thing is i cannot see the output of turtle teleop key that used to come so i'm going to say output is equal to screen and let's start it again this is going to bring up the output of that node when it is executed in another terminal so what you need to understand here ross node list you can see this dricing node that i have given this name is also there and my tb sim is also there the node name that i have given up till now we have done nothing important right we open a launch file to run only two nodes and that's not a big deal so what is the main purpose of launch file let's now get serious because previous one was just warm up here in the dynamic tb sim i am going to initialize a launch file and i am going to say include this provides me everything that i need my package name is learning package name of the launch file is i press tab so it moved to the next thing bring up tb sim and you can see this snippets are helping a lot if you have not experienced how you manually type and it is very cumbersome this is life easing so i created another dynamic tb sim launch file and i'm just calling this bring up launch file is not that a uh, little bit odd yes it is but uh, what i am going to do i am going to call this launch file twice so let's see what happens we close these ross launch learning package press tab to automatically complete dynamic something and it is going to say that there is a conflict i tried to run one launch file twice but that's not the problem the problem here is this node turtle sim have same name for multiple nodes that is the problem so it suggests us to use some different ids with this parameter that brings us to the arguments now what are these arguments arguments are something that can be replaced with a value meaning in the programming languages arguments are basically variables okay so there is initialization of variables for example in bring up tb sim we are going to say arg and it is going to give us a lot of options we are just going to go with default option because this means if you have not provided any value the default value is going to be given i am going to say turtle this is the default value for the name I, if i give you another angle of it argument name name is my variable i am going to give it as the dollar sign arg name so whenever i run this arg name is going to give a value that i will be provided if not any value is provided turtle is going to be given okay same is going to happen with this thing i am going to give it keyboard name okay and you have to write arg with it this seems to be very useless but believe me these are the tiny bits that you need to understand to fully go in deep detail of bigger packages keyboard keyboard so this argument thing is the new thing that we have just added i am going to for now just launch uh, only one file okay and this is what you need to learn i have added arguments inside of tbsim but i have not called those arguments so what is going to happen you are going to experience really interesting thing ross node list you can see turtle and keyboard is given the default values are given here when you run these nodes through this launch file i am now going to provide arguments but not default 
I am going to provide with a value. Argument name is name that has been already defined inside of this launch file on which I am calling. These are the arguments. And the second argument is keyboard, right? I'm going to create another argument and I want it to be a value argument. Name is going to be keyboard name and I can name whatever I want. I can say uh, its name is going to be tbsim1 and tbsim keyboard1. Okay, this is what I want it to be the name given to these arguments and they are then forwarded to these uh, names. Let's save those things, close it and I run it again. Output wise, there is nothing new, but you can see ROS node list tbsim1 tbsim keyboard1 has been renamed. What is the point of it? The point of it is now going to be displayed. We are going to call multiples of these and I am going to say tb1, tb2 and tb3, 4 and 5. Same goes for the keyboard. And let's see what happens. Let me stop this, clear it because really interesting thing is going to happen. Let's run dynamic tbsim. And you can see we have numerous turtle bot sim, five of them. The most interesting thing is ROS node list. So you can see tbsim is one, tb keyboard one, and everything is there. If I see here, oh sorry, the thing that I wanted to understand, ROS topic list. Nodes are something else, topic is something else. ROS topic info about turtle one command velocity and if i press enter you can see there are multiple publishers and multiple subscriber and that is a problem because if i say ross topic publish and i want to publish on uh, turtle one command velocity topic geometric message twist and i say that let me just bring all of these in front of you and I just say that kindly move at a speed of 10 on X axis. All of these are going to run. And that is never the case you want. You are going to be solving this problem of sending on one topic and all of the simulations are working through remapping and groups. These two are almost the last things, but they are really important. You saw the problem. If you want to work with multiple robots, multiple nodes, you have uh, the same name for all of these nodes and you have same topics, but you want to rename them while the code is running. Let's see how we are going to do that. So it says I hit the wall. Let me stop this. It stops all of these. And now what I am going to do is really interesting. I am going to add more things into my bring up TV sim. The most important one is I am going to first make it for only one uh, launch file to understand better. I am going to say there is an argument and that argument is going to contain a default value. For example, it is going to say command velocity or I'm going to say just velocity. Okay, the default value. If no argument is given for this while launching this launch file, velocity is going to be given as the name. As you saw, I just cleared it out. It is going to be turtle one command velocity whenever you run it. Okay. This is going to be the argument and I want the argument to be remapped. So let's say remap and from what I want it to be remapped. Uh, this is not the name. Name is going to be well topic velocity topic. Okay. From this to where it is dollar sign this well topic argument meaning i want to remap the output or you can say the publisher or the subscriber when you are running this node the publisher name or the subscriber name that are available you can remap like this while running it this is the basic output or the default output but you can rename it to whatever you want you put a variable there that is a very important and interesting feature I don't want the keyboard now, just I want the turtle simulations, okay? What I am going to do now is to first run it or, or I should directly provide an argument for it. 
because I think now you understand it. Value, it is well topic and I just want to say that this is TB1 velocity. This is going to be the name of the topic, okay? And uh, I am going to now save all of these, run it. ROS launch, learning package and dynamic TB sim. What it does, let's see, ROS topic list. Now, at this point, we usually used to see, for example, if it is not clear to you, ROS, ROS run turtle sim, turtle sim node. If I run this and close this one, performing ROS, oops, ROS topic list here. It requires ROS score. The basic one when we perform it, my bad. Now, command velocity is what most of the cases uh, you have turtle one command velocity to drive this. If I run another turtle bot, it will become turtle two through nodes. But what I did here was, if I close this, I don't need it anymore. If I run my dynamic TB sim, I renamed this to TB one velocity. And so I can do that with all of these meaning that i can provide this argument this new argument to all of these with tb2 velocity let's run a dynamic tb sim to see what happens multiple nodes clear this up ross node list first all of these are different nodes the next thing ross topic list all of these have different velocity topics and that is really interesting because if i want to just publish on a specific topic i can directly publish on that and only that turtle is going to be moving this is really really useful in dynamic projects moving on to the next thing and that is really useful when we are working with multiple robots and that is grouping group ifs and group namespaces group if functionality is really similar to uh, or you can say a copy of if statement in these launch files. Previously, I had a node that was from turtle sim and its name was turtle sim tele op and key. So this was utilized to run the turtle sim as well as the keyboard to drive it, right? I'm not going to provide command velocity topic or I can just provide command velocity topic, but then I have to remap from my turtle one cmd well because it also provides the same name of the topic to argument velocity topic if i want to actually drive my turtles simulation if i run this dynamic tb sim here i have done a mistake while typing it is not turtle sim it is turtle telio so if i take a look into ross topic list i have tb1 if I press upper arrow key, it is actually driving uh, my turtle. The thing is, ROS topic is TB1 velocity, turtle1. And turtle1 is basically the group, you can say. If I want to give another group name, I am just going to produce here group. And you are going to say group namespace. All of these nodes are going to be placed inside of the group and it is going to be named as you can also provide an argument group name. So this provides the name to it but I'm just going to go with the simple thing TB sim one group. That's what I'm going to give this a name. So let's come to one of the most important feature and that is if conditions. If I go to value name is going to be just i'm going to generically say turn on or i should say show show same default value is false and uh, i am not going to be producing group like this i think there is not very much difference yes group if arg show sim meaning if the value of uh, this argument show sim is true this is going to run let me put it in this group only this turtle sim node okay and uh, not this uh, teleop keyboard so if i run this now tb sim 
uh, you can see a uh, turtle simulation has not executed only uh, that keyboard is working so if I provide an argument of uh, show sim to be true when it I am executing this or I am including this launch file so this is set to true uh, if I don't write default or instead I write value it is not going to work so let's test it now it should show the simulation and you can see the simulation is here with us the last part of this launch file tutorial is parameters and ROS parameters I will explain the difference and let's see what these parameters can do so first we need to understand the difference between arguments parameters and ROS params in most of the cases you might see param or parameter in this manner okay and arguments in this manner in the default and the value ways the thing here is arguments are basically variables that hold the values same as the case for parameters but what is the major difference major difference is whenever I include a launch file a node or something I run it with arguments what is going to happen it is going to change the values of these but I do the same with the parameters I'll show you in a minute the main difference is parameters can be dynamically changed even after we have provided some value as you can see if I have provided TB1 velocity for this argument velocity topic I cannot change until I stop this simulation the name that I have provided as an argument but parameter can be changed even I have provided the value of the parameter for example in TurtleBot the parameters uh, there are a lot of parameters for example if I run the simulation ROS dynamic TB sim I have to comment this out and I have to delete these as well if I run this and I perform ROS param list so I have this uh, TB sim one parameter for turtle bot sim I am going to say that TB same background value is going to be I think zero uh, if currently it is blue I have given the parameter I run it again I hoped its value is going to be changed but it has not changed anything let me see it again ROS param get TB same background value of B it's 255 uh, what value I give I give 0 I can say ROS param set TB sim value of background to be 0 so the value has been changed if I set its value of R to be 0 you can see that if I get it it's now 0 no it is if I get for R it is zero so the values are changing according to the parameters I am providing you might be confused that this is ROS param but I am saying that these are the parameters you can change value of yes you can change value of it might not be apparent to you I may be uh, making a mistake but the thing is so ROS params are lists of parameters which values are going to be changed parameter single param is just basically one single value that you are going to change the value of that's the major difference you can dynamically change the values and that's why parameters are more powerful than arguments I hope now you have better understanding and deeper understanding of launch files let me just show you at the end what complex launch file is going to be easy for you now you can see launch files and you can understand what is written inside of it this was the whole purpose of this tutorial the last tutorial for launch files so if you take a look at this launch file you can directly see that this launch file contains multiple arguments that values are given as default and if and else and uh, other things are applied this is the launch file that is included with these numerous arguments that are defined here and this launch file that is included is without an argument so now you can debug your code 
very well and you can understand how these packages are being built in professional commercial quality repositories.